With your weather bug forecast from coast to coast on this Saturday, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mishik. The rain has been coming down over Rapid City, South Dakota, as we started the day today, and it's just going to go downhill from here. We're looking at a situation in which temperatures will be dropping through the day, and precipitation is actually expected to change over to snow by this afternoon and into this evening. And with so much moisture, impacting the area as a potent system moves into the central plains and the upper midwest we actually have a winter storm warning in effect and snowfall totals could add up to over a foot in some portions of the black hills by the time it's all said and done but not only are we dealing with this more wintry weather across portions of south dakota but all throughout the central plains and the eastern half of the country, we have this wide variety of weather conditions. So here's how it's going to play out. We first off have this storm system that is moving into the upper Midwest here. There's the snow that's going to be impacting western South Dakota. Further south, it's the storm threat. And portions of western Kansas in particular, Oklahoma up through Nebraska, will be dealing with strong to severe storms this afternoon. We even have a moderate risk for severe weather in those areas. And that moderate risk level is uh, not issued all that often. So certainly bears watching large hail tornadoes could be a part of the situation there. Toward the east, all eyes on the coast of the Carolinas as the first named tropical system of the season will be making landfall late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. That is Tropical Storm Anna. It will diminish in intensity and gradually slide up the coast as we head into the next several days here. Temperatures across the nation look like this. Staying stormy across the central U.S. as highs range from the 60s to the north to the 70s and 80s across the south.